might think, based on the 600 gallon tank behind me, that African cichlids are our favorite fish here in the fish room. And you might be right. But that doesn't take away from the love we have for South American cichlids. Few fish in the hobby can match the brilliant colors and awesome size of a good South American cichlid. And today we're going to take a close look at one of our favorites, the Herichthys carpentis rio hondo, commonly known as the pearl scale cichlid. Let's go check it out. Let's head over to the rack of 75 gallon tanks to get a better look at this awesome fish. And let's address one thing first. This is not a Texas cichlid, though it is very similar. Texas cichlids are an entirely different species. And while they may appear similar at first glance, I find the Carpentis Rio Hondo to be much more electric in its blue and aqua coloration. Now I'm sure there's more differences than that, Otherwise, they wouldn't be classified as a different species. But I'm not an ichthologist, so we're going to leave it at that. But let's also cover off where this thing comes from. Because earlier in the video, I said South American cichlid. Now, that's just my general catch-all term for cichlids of the Americas. But to be more precise, this is actually a Central or even North American cichlid. Its population is distributed through North Central America up into the southern parts of Mexico. And I believe there are even other collection variants of this same species farther north into Mexico. So with those specifics covered off, let's get into the information that hobbyists can actually use to successfully keep these fish. And like all my species profiles, I'm not going to rattle off a bunch of factoids that you can just look up online. But rather, I'm just going to tell you how I keep my fish and what I think has led to my success with them. We keep our Rio Hondo in a 75 gallon tank. And that's good for him right now, because he's still not full grown. But these fish do grow up to 12 inches. So for keeping an adult specimen long term, we recommend a 5 foot tank or longer. That's big enough for an adult male or even a mated male female pair. Now these fish are very aggressive, so if you try to keep a mated pair, we recommend providing lots of hiding places for the female to escape to when needed. And along those same lines, we don't recommend keeping any other species with this fish. This is the kind of fish that you keep in a species only setup. But that's fine, because it is so beautiful and cool, even on its own. Some other things you'll want to know. We keep our Rio Hondo in water that ranges from 76 to 78 degrees Fahrenheit. And we keep him in Indiana tap water. It is very hard, with a very high pH, and he seems to do just fine in it. We decorate the tank with enough driftwood and rock to give him space to hide if he ever feels stressed, but not so much that we never see the guy. Because in our experience, this species is a shy one. This, unfortunately, is not a fish that you'll always see swimming about. But that makes it all the more rewarding when you do see him out and cruising his tank back and forth. As far as feeding goes, this species is pretty easygoing. We keep ours on a staple diet of monster pellets, carna sticks, and other dry foods like that. And we mix in our homemade frozen foods here and there to make sure it has a varied diet. For me, the coolest thing about this fish is its striking coloration and intricate patterns. I mean, just, just look at that blue and green and aqua. It's iridescent, it's electric. And if you see it in person, the camera just doesn't do it justice. Well, that about wraps us up. I hope you enjoyed learning about this awesome fish, the Herichthys carpentis rio hondo. 
and I hope you consider keeping one day. It's a truly rewarding experience. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing. It helps the channel a ton, and it tells me what kind of content you like to see. We have so much more to show you from the fish room, and I can't wait to share it with you. Have a good one, guys.